I love New York, and despite what you might think, it's actually a pretty green city. With greenhouse gases low for a city of its size, a popular and extensive public transport system, and a mayor who is determined to make it a zero-waste city and who's committed to renewable energy. It's buzzy and upbeat, well, apart from that guy, and yes, that's the Friends building, and they seem to have loads more organic bulk produce, which yes, I know is a weird thing to get excited about. And they have so many farm-to-table restaurants. I freaking love it! Despite it being the coldest February on record since 1934, we decided to take a walk on the High Line. A disused rail line turned into a public park and conservation area. It runs from West 34th Street to the Meatpacking District, where you'll find Bobby's, one of my favourite places for brunch. Just around the corner is Chelsea Market. This place is awesome for finding artisan products, farm-to-table restaurants and everything in between. But the highlight of my trip was meeting these two. Alden is the founder and editor-in-chief of EcoCult, the best eco-blog going. Seriously, I actually can't resist it. And Lauren, a zero-waste blogger on Trashes for Tossers and owner of The Simply Co. We let our inner eco-geeks loose at their favourite brunch spot in Brooklyn. And what does one zero-waster give to another? A compostable bamboo toothbrush, of course. I love it. Thanks, Lauren. I'd asked Alden to show me some of the awesome eco-friendly places in her Brooklyn neighbourhood. Starting with Juice Press. Lauren had a busy day ahead of her, so we said goodbye, and Alden and I headed to Toby's Estate. This small batch roaster in Brooklyn works closely with fair trade farmers and cooperatives, who respect the land and their workers. Catbird is the place to go for carefully curated and locally made gifts. I love cheese. There, I said it. And the Bedford Cheese Shop is an independently run store dedicated to working directly with farms and selecting seasonal cheese. Lovely. One place you definitely shouldn't miss in Brooklyn is the Mast Brothers Chocolate Factory. These guys roast beans in small batches on site, using farms dedicated to quality and often using organic ingredients. The super cool packaging is locally designed and made, and each bar is hand-wrapped. Now I have some serious decision making to do. We stopped by 10 feet by Stella Dallas for a spot of vintage, and Alden couldn't resist this spooky hat. After an obligatory selfie in the snow at the top of the Wife Hotel, we hopped up to the Union Square Farmer's Market. And we couldn't resist the jam with a snow hat. Our final stop was just around the corner at ABC Carpet and Home. Here you'll find an amazing selection of natural, non-toxic beauty products, ethically sourced and sustainable interiors for the home, and some super cute gifts. Yeah, it's kind of hard to resist buying anything. I don't know about you guys, but I hate plain food. So before heading home on my flight, I hopped over to Hugh Kitchen for some awesome nutritious grub. And just when you think the packaging of everything is so cool, Starbucks go and do this. Which reminds me, if you want to avoid packaging on a flight, bring your own refillable water bottle, coffee cup, and snacks in compostable packaging. Okay, I hate goodbyes. Let's hug it out. See you soon, New York. Love ya.